One of the biggest lessons I've learned being married for almost 10 years and building a business and working with team members under me and working with other business professionals is that the concept of responsibility. A lot of people, they delegate tasks to service providers or their team members or their spouse or their children, and they're wondering why it's not getting done or not getting it done the right way. And they often just point the finger at the service provider. My mentor said to me, your service provider can only provide a product as good as your instructions, as good as your vision. If they're a talented graphic designer, but you give them lackluster, unclear instructions, they will give you an unclear, lackluster kind of product, a draft. And it's not the graphic designer's fault, it's your fault. When you delegate a task, a project to somebody, and it's not done. Is it their fault? No, at the end of the day, you don't care about whether it's their fault or your fault. You care about the project not being done. How can you get it done? You care about it getting done. So how can you get more from your employees, from your spouse, from your children, from your service providers? Well. You can start with communication. Number one is communication. Communicate your needs. Communicate your expectations. Find out what it is that's holding the service provider back. Why is the service provider not providing the draft or the product or the service that is up to your expectations? Why? Could it be that you were not clear? Could it be that the service provider doesn't understand why they have to do it this way? Could it be that you were not tactful in explaining the instructions? Were you really rude? Were you really condescending? Were you not supportive? Were you um, inquisitive? Or were you just ordering them? Look back at the communication. Number two is leading by example. When I get my kids to do something, Am I doing those things? If I ask my children to take out the garbage, but I've never taken out the garbage, I would consider that hypocrisy. When you ask your team members to do something that you've never done before, have you done it before? And I'm not saying that you gotta do everything that your team members have done, like, oh, uh, you delegate your finances to your accountant. Well, have you ever, ever been an accountant before? I'm not talking about that. But like small tasks and you ask your team members or other people to do, have you done them before? Are you able to give them clear advice and guidance if you have not done it before? If you have not done it before, then maybe you should listen to the expert. For example, you delegate something to a CFO. Well, maybe you should take the CFO's advice on how to do it. Or at least learn up about basics, basic financials so that you can communicate with your CFO. So number one is communication. And number two is, are you an example? Do you lead by example? You expect your uh, employees or people under you to do the things that you want, but you have never done it before. You are not even showing them how to do it. So how do you expect them to do it? So you got, same with a graphic designer. You're like, oh, can you draft up some uh, logo for me? And the graphic designer's like, oh, what would you like that logo to look like? And you're like, I don't know, just draft something up. Then of course, you can't expect much. But if you give them specific instructions, you're like, I want it to look like this. And you gotta have a vision or a picture of how you want it to look like. You gotta give specific instructions. And you gotta lead by example. You have to have done a little bit yourself. I'm not saying you have to have a have to have been a graphic designer, but you gotta at least know how to give instructions. And if it's something you, you've done before, like uh, I asked my children to take out garbage, give them, um, have you done? Have you taken out the garbage before? Something like that. Have you shown them? Let's say I'm trying to train my team members in something. Have I done it myself? How can I train my team members in something that I've never done myself? or I have no clue about it. Doesn't work that way, right? So understand my message. There are some things that you just don't have expertise in 
And you can't train your graphic designer to do graphic design. I'm not telling you to train them, but if let's say you want to get your graphic designer to design a web page, you at least got to have a picture in your mind what it looks like and be able to communicate it well. And then things that you are training team members to learn, you got to be able to uh, have done it before. Or you got to bring in people who have done it before to train them. So for example, you hire a finance guy and your finance guy has never done a particular uh, financial task you're giving them. And you haven't done it before. So what would you do? You bring in a consultant who has expertise in that area and can help train your finance guy to do it. So that kind of stuff, lead by example, or get someone there to be by example, get some coaching involved. Number three, focusing on the service provider and focusing on the team members and focusing on those you've delegated it to instead of focusing on yourself. How can I communicate better? What can I do? And like, so I talked about communication. Number two, lead by example. Number three, what can I do? How can I be a better leader? How can I be better at influencing others? If I want a service provider to get a job done, if I want my spouse to do something for me, if I want my children to do something for me, if I want my team members to do something for me, how can I influence them? instead of like dictate or order them around. How can I influence them? How can I be a better example? How can I be a better leader? How can I communicate better? How can I listen better? What can I do? What kind of self-development or personal development can I do to improve myself so I will be better at leading and serving these people, these individuals? How can I serve my spouse better? How can I serve my children? How can I serve my team members? How can I add value to the service providers I hire? Think about what you can do. Focus on yourself because you can't change other people, but you can change yourself. And if you change, the people around you will change. That's it for today. If this message resonates with you, comment below. Tell me your story. Tell me if you've learned something from this video and share this video with someone who needs to hear this. And as usual, subscribe and hit the notification bell and I will see you in the next video.